Wow, look at this. So it looks like we've gotten in uh, all of it. We can actually go ahead and stop this now. And you know what? Let's let's not stop it. Let's um. This is put some automation here. Boom, baby. Ka Boom. What? Trev with the four months. Trav, eighteen. Thank you so much. Four months. Appreciate that. Let's put a switch here, and over here too. Animal Crossing, uh, Destiny Two, and Conan. Conan, really? We'll just, uh, um, yeah, we'll do both of these just to actually manually shut them off. Animal Crossing, man. You know what? I, I've, I've not stopped playing. I have been, like, playing a little bit every single day. I'm waiting for more money. I'm waiting for more bells so that I can spend those bells on, you know, countless other things that I want to buy. Just gonna take time. These are both made of iron, by the way, so they're gonna melt soon. Okay, it looks like we're our storage bin is starting to melt, actually, uh, which we're getting extra water flowing all over the place. Uh, so let's go actually go and start building that. Those temp shift plates before, yeah, it's already starting to melt. So let's go ahead and build those things stat. Uh, it's gonna melt immediately. And it's gonna create a nice puddle of water, but as long as we cool some of this uh, hydrogen, then uh, then we should be good. And we'll just put a couple here, a couple here. And then a couple, I don't know, in the middle maybe? Okay, what's that last one made out of? Ice, okay, good. We should probably go ahead and have these guys pick up some more ice, but look at them go, look at them go! What I love about the ice temperature plates is that you can see how quickly they cool an area. Look at that. It's gonna melt, like, instantly, but still that water is cold, so it'll continue to cool the area. The whole center is gone. And those are all good. They're all gone now. <laughs> but we have successfully cooled. Not a, not a ton, but enough to make it uh, 127 degrees. Mm, give us more time. The ice, the, uh, yeah, the ice was melting straight out of the container so fast. I think we probably use some more ice too. Circuit overload. I'm not worried about that right now. <laughs> Flooding, gas pump. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know that. That's, that's probably why, actually. Yeah, oh, uh, because I was supposed to take it and it's going to go up to what? Oh, I was taking it to space. Boy. I guess I could have tried to find a longer way to, uh, to path that stuff out. <laughs> if I really tried, I probably could have found a longer way to path that out. But that's fine. Uh, it looks like we're getting natural gas built up in here, which is good. We have plenty of natural gas down here to support the base. So really what I think we could probably do right now uh, or going forward is when we expand our uh, our power generation, we can actually add more natural gas. Guys, uh, more natural gas generators. Um, hydrogen would be great, but I don't know if we necessarily need it right now. What is so, what is so hot on top of the lower uh, oxalizer in the hydrogen wheeze war area? Oh, there's uh, some igneous rock here that's really, really hot, actually. Let me go and get that cleaned up. Good eye. Get that cleaned up. That's just, yeah, that's just heating. Just heating constantly. Get that shit cleaned up. Is this really building flood with that tiny little puddle right there? You got to, you got, got to be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Come on now. There. How's this doing over here? Negative 43.6, so it is getting cooler still. Uh, we do want to cool the area out here. We need, we need more ice, basically. We need to rob another ice thing. Yee! Jack Best, thank you so much! What is that? 42 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, should we... Ooh, this area is starting to get warm up, actually. So, so the question is, should we... Go ahead and pop the cork on this, and go in here and just rob this place of ice? Mesh tile hype, I should. Um, yeah, that's not a bad idea because we're gonna put more tiles in there. So, oh my god, it's flooded again. Where's it pulling that water from? Oh, it's pulling it from itself. Yeah, so let's go ahead and oh, it's pulling it from over the top here. Let's not make it out of tile, out of steel though. Let's make it out of fuck, uh, iron ore. Both of them. Emergency, emergency. How are we doing out here? Power overload everywhere. Oil's happening. This is happening. They'll get the repairs. But yeah, I think we should probably go ahead and just uh, put a insulated door here. 
and then go. Nickel bottles cannot melt. I don't know what they're made out of, but they cannot melt. Uh, we'll put a insulated mechanized airlock right here. We'll make it out of uh, what's the hottest material I can find. Oh, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, cut this. Oop. And then we'll go in here and we'll rob this place. We don't necessarily need... We have two or more ice biomes over there on the other side that we can... Uh, we have access to. So we'll go in here. We'll just cut out a bunch of ice. We'll use this to, to cool the area uh, over there. We'll insulate the door here so that way we're not really, like, destroying this area so quickly, you know? And you saw ice uh, in with the thermal thing in the... Oh, hold on, I just want to save for later. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to collect a whole bunch of ice, and then I'm going to... It's going to store in here, obviously. Uh, and then I'm going to get a, a bunch more tiles, uh, temperature tiles. And w what I want to do is get uh, this whole area um, just full of... Or just cold. Just cold hydrogen. And then once this area is full of cold hydrogen, like cold enough hydrogen, right? Oops, I, I, I did all that work. I didn't turn it off. Oop. Um, that's cheating. Uh, once I get this area full of cold hydrogen, I could pop I could pop the cork on this and go in here and start doing some work. And I could put temp shift plates made out of ice inside of this room. It's gonna take a lot of ice though, which is why we're probably gonna destroy the rest of that biome over there, which is fine. Um, and then, what is, wait, what is this stuff? Uh, phosphorite, 106 degrees? Okay, that's fine. It's not, like, that hot. Uh, and then what we'll do is, and then that will allow this room to not only, like, well, basically, this room is going to get super cold, and it's going to maintain that cold uh, really, really well. Those ice temp shift plates are just so good. I mean, you saw how quickly it dropped the temperature. It was like it was like 200-something degrees. What is that out here? It was 200-something degrees, and then it gets in here, and then it's now it's 136 at the top. And at the bottom down here, I mean, it's a cool, you know, 102 degrees. So, buy other half of the ice biome. Exactly. What up, Crispy? Natural gas. We got natural gas all over the place to the point where these things are actually going to start... Uh, Wow, yeah, they're gonna start um getting backed up. But we haven't real we're starting to actually get through some of the natural gas over here. So let's go ahead and reconnect the pipe over here that we disconnected a long time ago and did not forget about this time. Hey. And we'll just go boop. There we go. So now we have a steady lots and lots and lots and lots of natural gas. You know what these things are full of? Do you guys remember? It's been a long time. Full of oxygen. It's full of not just ox any oxygen. It's full of 31 degree oxygen. Like each one is like yeah, 30 degree. Uh, what is this one? 31 degree. It's ice cold oxygen. I can't remember exactly why I put it over here, but it is. Oops, we left that open. Uh, but it is going to come in handy one day. I promise. <laughs> promise. Everything's an emergency right now. By the way. What is this? Uh, we'll put it yeah, there you go. We don't need, yeah, we don't need this. It's gonna deconstruct, disable that. Build that door. Start making them into mods when I get desperate enough to do so. Good for hand, cold air, no complaining, that's right. Great use for this notepad. Yeah, that notepad mod is probably the next thing I install, actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll start. Okay. Do I have a thing for over there? I do. We'll start with some of the easily accessible stuff. So like this. To here. And then, uh... Can they, they can reach this. Is there anything they can reach, basically. Unreachable. Then we'll start going up. Mm, what is this? Uh, granite, snow, ice, 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 ice. We didn't really get a lot of ice out of that, actually. Let's... Should we go through the middle? I think we just build a bunch of ladders and then just grind it out. Or, maybe we should do this smart and use a Robominer. Because we have the power. We don't necessarily need to have... Yeah, let's do a Robominer. We're, just gonna, we're, we're seriously gonna gut this whole thing. Let's... Robo miner. Look at that. Just bam. There's tons and tons and tons of resources. And we'll just connect it to a wire. And we'll just let it go ham. And then we'll just move it. As we need it. 
Then move it over here, do it again, move it over there, do it again. Iron ore. That's kind of handy. And then we'll just keep moving around until we get everything done. Is that a nine? It is. Everything's a nine right now. <sighs> uh, can you start with infrared? Broadcast is big. Radiator mod that you pass liquid through and it cools it off into space. What? Oh god, there's one more. Just one more. That is running off of what? Oh, this hydrogen setup down here. Cool. That's right. I have this on a local. Uh, oh, nice. This is all running off its own power. Beautiful. I want this done though. Building broken. Uh, auto sweeper. Oh, yes. All those are broken. Yep. <laughs> and so is this. Uh, I wonder if they're repairing it constantly. Let's go ahead and disable auto repair on that. There. Oh. How quickly Wolvie went out of his way to get caught in that. <laughs> he ran in. He's like, yo, yo, it was my part. <laughs> Unbelievable. And then he leaves it. And then he leaves it. <laughs> I'm so glad we got to witness that. There we go. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna lock up again here with this. I wonder if I could queue that up. If I could go G9 on uh, that ice there. I'll get those two. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we have ice slowly. <laughs> oh. I need to build another, another one to uh, keep this one in check. What we'll do is, once this one's done, we'll mount it to the wall and we'll start moving that way, I guess. Doing it underneath is kind of silly. Oil. Oh, fucking boogers building up right there. Yikes. It's like a slow motion loogie. How is that? I guess it's, yeah. <laughs> Can you? Yeah, sure. If you, could, if you could get that done, that'd be great. I guess we should probably have an overflow and just build a couple mesh tiles and just let it just fall. I'm not going to hurt anything. Let me do that. Just one mesh tile here, here, here. And that'll just get all that down on the ground. An auto D and 2 mod. Just have them just dig their way out. I don't know if I trust them with that level of... Oh, God. Is it melting right away? Jesus. They're storing ice, but it's not. Mm. They're not bringing enough of it to... Let's deconstruct the store. Yeah, it's melting right away. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this a seven. And this is gonna melt too. Yeah, it's just the more if we could get a lot in there, like if we get a ton of ice in into one bin. So I, I make this make this like a one actually. Uh, that will stop it from warming up. So the faster they move stuff from there to here, which they have a very short route to go. Like it's it's long distance wise, but there's tubes connecting it. Um Yeah. A DN2 mod? Do all that space left to the side, circumvent the asteroids? No. Uh, no, you have to have clear vision up in order to do anything. So I can't, I can't, like, uh, it's not really like a three-dimensional space. You know, I can't, like, build something over here. It would be great. And just look, you know, a different direction. You actually have to build looking up. That's one thing I did not learn in the 2,000 uh, cycles I've logged in between uh, these playthroughs. One thing I did not do was any space-related stuff, so uh, I'm still totally green when it comes to that kind of stuff. Oh, red! 53 months! <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> um, I think we should probably put a couple mesh tiles down here just to kind of keep this from uh, from doing what it's trying to do right here. And maybe we do that with just, let's see, we'll put like one here. Give it a minute. And what we'll do is we'll cut this, this, and we'll put one mesh tile right there. Not really, I mean, is it gonna leak? I wonder if it's gonna... <sighs> K, 
guess it is going to have uh, more than just water come out. The, the, ox the hydrogen will come out too, or the steam will push its way in. So then let's put a door there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Put a door there. Yeah. Yeah! Alright, let's do that. Put a hydro sensor. Hydro sensor goes right there. What's that made out of? Hold on a second. Aluminum. Mm, that's not gonna last. <laughs> that's definitely not gonna last. Uh, let's see, hydro sensor. Let's make it out of, uh, let's see. Make it out of iron. I didn't think that steam would melt that, actually. You know what? Maybe that's a bad idea, too! Let's try again. Let's try, uh, let me see, hydro sensor. Let's make it out of gold. That'll work, right? Oh, uh, we only have a little bit of gold. Eh, let's use the rest, it's fine. There we go. 76 mods! Busy. Busy, busy. It's a tiny insulated door, which is perfect for this, actually. We'll make it not out of iron, I guess. We'll make it out of something else. Steel? Ugh. Waste. Oh, I can't, because there's a block there. <sighs> we gotta juggle this stuff, so let's see. We'll deconstruct. Let's get the... Automation wire out of the iron. I'm sure the automation wires will not melt. I'm surprised. I, I guess I just don't know the melting point of iron. Oh god, there it goes! Quick, 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 quick! Don't go to sleep. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's time to go. Okay, that disappeared. Put it here. Steel. Sandstone. Two accessible things. Yeah, it's starting to push. Yeah, it's starting to. Uh, these motherfuckers. Wake up. Hopefully, the flow of uh, hydrogen pushing its way out will. will. Actually, yeah, it's there's more pressure inside, so it is going to push its way out. This is good. The red yellow alert that's right! Orange alert! There we go. Okay, turn this off. Okay, so now what we want to do is send a green signal when it's uh, above. Wait, what would that be? Like, uh, let's just say like a thousand. Close that door right up. Good. So, do we get? Uh, we got like one little block of oxygen in there. Uh, so this whole thing's got. We tear this whole thing down and start over. <laughs> but we got a little bit of uh, hydrogen that's made its way out here. I mean, the tiniest? What is that, like one? Let's, uh, let's view this where I can actually see gas. Yeah, we got one block of hydrogen that got out. Uh, maybe a little bit over here, too. Not too bad. Not too bad. So that'll just basically run until it gets flooded, and then it'll open up the door briefly, and then let some of that water out, and that'll solve that problem. So good, that's gonna just take care of itself. As long as it doesn't, like, as long as it's actually insulated, that's all I really care about. The graphic on it is really funky, but... Dudes are like, sorry, we're off schedule, I know. So, we have some ice, but we don't have a ton of ice, but it's, it's not, it's warming up, but they're living more, good, good. Let's go back to the, our food supply is getting low, by the way. I should keep an eye on that. That thing is attuned, but it's about done, isn't it? About, that's gonna get in tuned again. <laughs> and then we'll build another one, facing to the left, and cut through all the rest of this ice and snow and everything. Go to this, this. I'll just watch it for a second. Some ice right there. Zap, bam. There it is. Okay. Then what we'll do is we'll set up another... Is it about done? It's about done. Yeah. We're gonna clear all that out. Sad. <laughs> Maybe we'll just clear it out and just open it up and just let this whole area just get flooded with whatever. Just let it neutralize itself. Well, at least we'll get that Weez Warp back though. It's kinda nice. These where it's keeping everything alive over there for the longest time. Let's see, uh, natural gas, natural gas. Wow, this is pretty much what I wanted. I wanted to clear this out, uh, but now I feel like it's gone too far. <laughs> it's definitely gone too far. Let's let's put a sensor over here, some kind of automation, to just tell it to stop when it's below something. That way, it's not wasting power. Give it a second. There we go. Uh, because yeah, right now it's just using power. And for what? It's gonna create a vacuum in here. How's it gonna do that? Where's the- where's the- where's the oxygen going? 
carbon skimmer is supposed to take hydrogen, uh, carbon dioxide, turn it into oxygen. Oh, is it? Oh, the water seal is broke. Okay, that makes sense then. Um, how's this doing with the whole evacuate to space thing? Seems to be working. Pipe's blocked here. Why is this pipe blocked? It's blocked because it's going... Huh? Oh, because this pipe is not... No, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> huh. Huh. I wonder what the purpose of that was initially. Could take that, dump it over, and that would just remove some of that, which is not too hard to do. Just a couple more feet of this. There we go. That'll just get it back into that cycle. It just eats CO2, it doesn't turn into O2. I thought that it, uh, it ate CO2. Oh, that's right, it eats CO2 and it turns it into mush, basically. It mixes it with water. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Hmm. Yeah, we can tell this guy to, uh, yeah, when it's above, let's say, 1500. Then turn it off. Yay, now we're not wasting power down here. There's all this space here. Man. Now this right here, this this could be cleaned up a little bit more. Nah, I'm not worried about it. Not worried about it. We've got things under control. Knock on wood and all that, you know? Space is, uh, is another time. <laughs> That's like next year me. Not today me. How we doing over here? Good. Uh, ice. Ice. That's right. We have to keep track of those ice. The ice that we're collecting up here. Which is right here. We have negative 8.2. So it's actually about ready to start uh, collapsing on itself. So we should go ahead and have these guys go and do some emergency temp shift plates made out of ice. Lots of ice, actually. Yeah, let's do it. And we'll start up at the top, actually. Uh, that way we could get a good chunk of these things. Uh, a chunk of this area. Nice and cool. Um, I put one there. Are they gonna delete that? I think they're gonna delete that, right? Oh, oops. Gotta make that thing, uh... It's gotta be a now thing. Except for this. It's gonna be beautiful. Because we're gonna see... A lot of these things melt instantly. But, also, we're gonna see it, um... Cool the surrounding area. Then we're gonna see this thing start to do its job once it gets flooded. Or if we're really lucky, they won't melt and they'll maintain. Oh no, there they go. <laughs> well, that one, no, that was the uh, that was a, a brick of whatever dirt. Yeah. Well, it's maintaining. Oh, it's warming up, warming up. There it goes. Bloop, 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 bloop. And then what happens when it gets over here and it gets too flooded? I may not have set that right. What is the sense right now? The sense is, uh, oh, it's close. It's getting close. Okay, cool. So that should probably open up by itself. Um, once it gets, oh, I guess we just barely missed it. Look at that, 941. The, the cutoff is a thousand. <laughs> so we need more water in order to trigger that. Temperature wise though, it's better. 91 degrees. 91. It's dense, man. Wow, this is taking a lot. We need more ice. We're sacrificing all this ice to cool all the hydrogen. So let's go ahead and get this thing moving over here. Let me see. Roll miner. And we'll rotate it. Oh, who's fat fingered? Let's go ahead. Copy. Rotate. We go here. We'll clear up a bunch of that. But we want to bring it out this way. I just don't want stuff to fall on top of it, which I think if I put it right... Yeah, if I put it like right here, it's probably fine. We'll get that huge chunk and then we'll start working our way up later. And then we'll do it like this, actually. There. How much ice? That's like a lot of granite, actually. We're not really getting a lot of ice out of that deal. Yeah, we are and we're not. Like a thousand each? Hmm. I mean, like, there's ice in here, but it's not a ton. Yeah, okay. This is going to put it down anyways. Stop messing around. Copy. Turn this will make sense. So, like, we're about there. It's fine. I don't think we reach it. Just gotta build two tiles. Build a couple ladders. Just like one or two ladders here. One, two. Reach it. The power. There. <laughs> Go! Alright. 
crack the egg. Cool. <sighs> we need ice to. Yeah, I want to cool the area. Which it's it's. I mean, the water, the pool of water down here is is actually insulating itself against the insulated tile. So we're not really getting a whole lot of love out of the uh, out of this this pool of cool water down here. But it is cooling the oxygen right above it. We're just not getting any circulation. They're, they're moving ice over here, though. It's happening, it's happening. What's nice is that the storage bin is so cold. So that's actually going to help a, a great deal. There's hot stuff on the oxidizers again. Uh... Oh, yeah, where is that coming from? Boom, what? Shrimp paycheck! Wee! 55 months! Shrimp paycheck! Help me out with my paycheck. Thank you so much, Shrimp. Appreciate that. <laughs> Guess we're just waiting for ice. <laughs> just waiting for ice. I uh, Oil's good. That, that, that. Area down here is good, right? Yeah, this is all nice and closed. We got a little bit of a drip going all the way down there. Whenever it overflows from there, which is fine. This thing is empty pipe. Why? Because we don't have water coming in. We have water coming on a petroleum being made on a petroleum being made. We have power to some areas over here. Uh, we did say we were going to build a bypass for that, which I guess we could go ahead and do, which is just as simple as just plugging this in. So we'll just go boop there. Problem solved. Oh. Oh, is it, uh, is it this thing that's not, the sieve is not being, uh, oh, disabled, yeah, duh, it's disabled. Of course, and it's not gonna enable until it's blank, yeah. So, it looks like, uh, maybe we should use a liquid bridge, and that will force it to go. That'll force it along. What's that? My man, Omni. So, if we put that there, that'll, yeah, that'll basically force it. And then we can, uh, snip it here, snip it here. And then we can probably cut that one cable. There we go. There. So now we have water going over there. Take care of that. Over here. This thing's already done. No power, huh? Why? No power. Oh, because I, I cut out the... <sighs> you know? I'm smart, but man. Sometimes I overlook things. There we go. So now we have to actually start it. So this is at the B. <laughs> we have to kickstart this thing. You see someone come over here. Just turn it off for a second. Just jump on it. Just jump on it. Just, 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 just take two seconds. Just one pedal. Boop. And that's it. We don't need any more. Right? Yeah, that's it. We're good. We're good. It'll run by itself. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. Get out. Get off. Move over here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, we'll just uh, just take We have water that's freezing here. Um, we have some polluted water in this mix somehow. We're running this thing all the way around just to basically cool this area. And it's, um, how do we get polluted water in here? Uh, no. I wonder how long this polluted water has been floating around. But we do have we do have a problem with this. So we, we I wanted this water to basically cool and then use it later, but it's just becoming too much of yeah, it's, <laughs> it's become too much of a have a hassle. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and snip this. This will keep it from um, exiting this loop. It will just feed the water in it and just let it cool just naturally. And all that will be siphoned out eventually through the bottler. And this will just fill. Yeah. And then it'll eventually get nice and cool. This over here is doing work, which is good. We want that ice. Speaking of, how are we doing over here? Nice. We're ready for more. I think probably one more good batch of, uh, what am I doing? Um, of ice walls will, will basically, I mean, I think that'll pretty much, pretty much take care of the majority of this. And then what we'll do is we'll open things up and we'll start putting all the ice inside. So we need, we just still need quite a bit of ice to finish this project. Ooh, that's a lot. 
that might actually maintain for a bit. If we get them, if, if actually, if we get the, if we get these things built like super fast, it probably will maintain for a bit. What was that? 12,000 to make this? This is how much we need for in here, so I guess that means we need 24,000, uh, keys of ice. Oh, that's right, you're playing with a, yeah, so, uh, uh Foul, FS77, he's playing, um, with the, the Lights Out mod. Oh, 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 the door, oh god, it just needs one little bubble right there. One more little bubble. Bloop. Oh, come on. There it is, look at that. See that? Uh, I am oh genius. I mean, it's just basic shit, but uh, we don't need this to be that important. So how we doing here? Look at that. Oh yeah, it's warming up pretty quickly though. So we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose all of it very, very fast. But it is gonna cool this air nicely. Uh, but it's not gonna last because, which means we should go over there and mine some more, uh, because the the electrolyzers are putting out heat. So, we need to get this moving, do more, and we'll do, let's see, let's do copy, let's just do a quick blueprint of you, like this. We'll delete it later. Then we'll put that right here. That'll take care of all of that. Let me get rid of this. Okay, all. It's the reach, yes. And they'll get all of that polluted ice, yikes. Um, yeah, the blooper mod is super good. Uh, why most of the things in this episode are temporary fixes? Stop painting on tomorrow's bike. No, what are you talking about, man? These are permanent fixes. We're killing off the biome, that's permanent. Uh, we are... Uh, we've solved this issue down here. We have the polymer press just running. Just doing its things, man, of steel, that's permanent. We have a nice little loop going, so that way we can get oil and make petroleum. We have tons of petroleum reserve. Uh, we have a water sieve and carbon skimmer. This is all permanent. Dang. We've removed all of the hydrogen from over here. Permanent. Every, every, I, I would say, I would say there's, there's an argument to be made about whether or not, um, whether or not anything in, in, in oxygen not included is permanent. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, is is it really permanent or is it just yeah? Is it is everything in the game just you know temporary? Speaking of, actually, now that we have insulated doors, let's go ahead and uh, put a couple of insulated doors on this. We'll have them break down these. We'll have them put insulated doors in its place. That way we can you know go in and out super fast. Oh, look at that! Right on the line for this one. This one, however, does not. Let's go and get that connector wire going. There he goes! Oh gosh! And do 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 do. Let's see. We're gonna make it out of whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as it's close by. Which I think iron is probably close by. So let's make that emergency build. There's a little bit of oxygen in there, but that's fine. I'm not gonna. That's so much oxygen that got in there. Oof. Oof. Is it gonna hurt my feelings? Is it gonna hurt my feelings? I don't know. Maybe. We have to go in and out of there anyway, so. We'll, uh, we'll find a way to filter out that, that oxygen. We just... Uh, I can already see how we do it. Let's do this, this. Okay. Will the oxygen freeze? I... Don't know. Okay, so now we have a room full of oxygen in here now. And polluted guy, it looks like it's polluted in there too. Is that what that is? Yeah, polluted oxygen. Nice. Uh, no, I don't think it'll freeze. Like, I don't think it'll convert to anything else. Um, or will it? I guess it would actually. After like, li like liquid oxygen is uh, rocket ship fuel, isn't it? Oh, negative 208 degrees Celsius? Okay, yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's... I don't think we're gonna get there. What is this thing at? This is, uh... Oh, it's a gas pipe. Mm, yeah, no, we're not gonna get there. So, it's fine. We're basically just waiting for ice to get stored. A lot more ice. 
see where we're at in terms of ice. Damn it, every time. Yeah, not we we need uh I think it was like twelve thousand just to do one room. So we're just waiting for that magic number. They're getting it though, look at this. Wow. Yeah, I mean uh, I understand. It's, it's not that far. There you go. Ah, good, so that's done. We could run the wire up. Wow, we're getting a lot of materials out of this, but I really feel sad that we're losing this biome. I guess it doesn't matter if we open this up now. Right? Not really. What is this? Uh, sandstone? This is a nine for what, though? For seeds. Well, for what kind of seeds? Oh, that's right. I was using uh, Weezwort seeds to... Yep. I remember that. I remember that. Let's do that. So we can probably go ahead and actually cut this out, and then we'll have the dudes just go up here and just start carving the stuff out manually. Oh, I forgot we have a leaky oil fisher here, so we'll have to be careful with that, because that'll that'll ruin a lot of days. Uh, we don't need oil like that. <laughs> Not on that scale. But we do want all of this. Wow, wow, get it, get it, son, get it, get it, get it. And get all this ice, too. I'm just going to carve this out a little bit at a time. Actually, go four high on that. And actually go underneath and do those. Yeah. That should give us... liquefiable... Nine tons. Almost. Nine tons. Hi, babe. Oh, yeah. What time is it? Oh, sure. Why not? Thank you. Is this with the new ginger beer? Oh. Wait, are you telling me? Are you telling me that it's it's a drinking day? Oh, okay. Oh, well, thank you, babe. Thanks, babe. Jen said that Vodka accidentally fell into this cup. Um, hate when that happens. <sighs> oh, damn it, I did. Woo! That is delicious. Any day, man, lately, every day. <laughs> Every day uh, is a drinking day. Man. Seriously. What are the wings on your head? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You're the, uh, wait, wait, the, you mean the peaks or the, the wings on the side? Dude. It's, it's, <laughs> I guess, I guess it just grows the, the, this strip right here. My, my prodigy, <laughs> like strip, uh, grows faster than the rest. I didn't know this. But we have shears coming this weekend, though, so we're going to do it right. Well, if I do it right, it just means I'm just going to do it again. So, yeah, I'm going to just continue to uh, just shave my head until ain't nothing left to do. You actually cut more than I thought. Yeah, you know, I, I just I cut the top and the sides the same, but I cut the sides right here shorter, but I didn't do this very short. I should have done it all the way up, like high and tight. Maybe I'll do that next time. Should I do it high and tight? Almost like a mohawk. Like, why not? Should we just do it? Maybe this Saturday I'll do it. When we get the shears in. Friday's a drinking day? Every day. Uh oh. Oh, it's exactly 1,000. Look at this. Look at this mess. It's exactly 1,000. It's not going to open up. Let's do this. Oops. <laughs> 999. <laughs> it's so precise. Yeah, a high, a high end. It's just like, just like. Just shave it like basically right here where it's growing, like right here at the bottom of my peaks. Like my, my we'll take my peaks and that'll be like where it goes. And then we'll just do it, you know. I don't know how we do the back, but we'll just do whatever. This is the time to do dumb shit to your hair. Like it really truly is. This is the time to do it. And this is for you guys too. Like even if you're going to work or whatever, just be like, yeah, man, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't make it to my barber because of, I don't know, if you guys are not doing uh, quarantine stuff, then that's a good reason. Uh, but let's get this up belt real quick. Let's see. One, two, three, four, uh, then make sure we got enough. Uh, yeah, one for one more. We'll come back and do more, but we'll wait. Let them get started on that. Ah, 
Now watch this room just get so cold. What's that at right now? Negative 40, right? Negative 40 degrees. Negative 45 degrees, give or take. None of these should melt in this room. These temp shift plates should maintain. Yeah. Uh, it still works, but not every day is a drinking day. You grow out your mane? Grow it out. I was gonna grow it out, but, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't do it, man. This ain't high school no more. <laughs> I can't just grow my hair out super long. I guess I could, but I got the, I just got the itch to, uh, to shave it, and, you know, worked out pretty well. Uh, so we let in a bunch of warm, warm-ish, warmer hydrogen. But since now it's now that it's, uh, as long as we, we keep an eye on this right here, like you can see the temp shift plate's at negative 20, right? So long as it, it's, it's moving in the right direction, negative 20.1, that's it, we're golden. There's, there's no way, based off of what we're running through this room, that this, this ice is gonna melt, uh, in its current state. Now in the future we might mess it up by adding too much liquids or whatever, because I'm, eventually I want to do like petroleum, like a petroleum drip, just kind of going through there and just cooling that off as well. Uh, but that's a, you know, future thing. You gotta get over the mid-growing phase. Your SO refuses to run a clipper for- Dude, I did this myself! Jen touched it up, but I did this myself, though. This is really strong. Here's what's funny. Because we're recording this for YouTube, hi YouTube. I, uh, um, I'm gonna be drinking for the next at least two days. <laughs> Every day is a drinking day, now. Hmm. Uh, it's just, uh, what is it? Um... I don't know what we have, actually. It's just some, like, common bottom bottom shelf stuff. Definitely no top shelf nothing. But it's the ginger beer. We got good ginger beer, though. I can't remember the brand, but it's, like, it's good. It's good ginger beer, though. It's not, like, ginger ale. We're not getting more ice here? What's up? Uh, ice. Oh, okay, we're not creating any more ice. Because, yeah, we didn't finish going through here. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and how do I want to tackle this? I don't want to put a, or do I? I have this. I could go ahead and put another one up here and it won't go through. Okay, as long as it doesn't uh, activate that fissure, I think I'm good. Like right, like this. Oh, that's perfect. And we'll just get rid of this wire and we'll just run that wire down. Wire nine. Nine. Boom. And then what is that? Is that ice? It's dirt. Yeah, we'll just leave that there. Don't break that. And that'll zap through all kinds of stuff. Don't do those, which I wouldn't be able to do anyways. And that'll clean up and give us some more ice. Still not enough to do what we need to do. We might as well go ahead and set up the next one. Again, the beauty of the blueprint tool. What does that go to? It goes to about there. So we could bring this one out to about here. And get probably the rest of this, actually. I mean, well, not the rest, but... God, so much of it. Quite significant. Then we'll run the wire. Give him a second. You top shelf to me. Ah, oh, Omni. Making me feel... Making me feel like a princess. Huh? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we don't want to cover anything there. Okay, good. Should be what? Is, wait, why is wait? Who's cutting that? I guess we just tell the dudes to do it. And then we'll do some ladder, ladder business, ladder, ladder, maybe a ladder here. That way they can reach these and get some of that. Cool. So once that's all hooked up, and that's gonna clear out so much ice before it melts, please. And then we'll be able to use that elsewhere. Let's go and get rid of this. I shouldn't need this wire or anything. Zap, 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 zap. They can reuse that up top. Uh, oil is going great. This is going great. Polymer press is going great. We now have 11.9 tons of plastic. We need to put plastic tubes everywhere. I don't know where we're going to put it, but man, we desperately need just to have plastic tubes everywhere. As a matter of fact, actually, you know what would be a good place to put plastic tubes? Over here where the sleet weed is. This area is pretty chill. We could run a tube straight down here, 
give them quick and easy access all the way down. What is this filter doing? It's doing a job. Does it need to do the job right there, though? Or can it do the job... ...over here? See what I'm saying? Then we can run this. Like this. This. Like this. This. Like this. That's a lot of shit water, man. We gotta put- We need a dedicated sieve eventually. Life in plastic. <laughs> no, Victor, don't do it! No! Ah, ah, uh, um... I, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Please don't think about that fucking song. Da, da. Okay. Trigger warning, man. 